Hi guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe. I would love to have you back. And if you enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. For today's video, I thought I would go through how to start your own YouTube channel. Now, if you guys don't know already, I've been doing YouTube for around a year and a half now and I literally started with nothing. And I wanted to show you guys that you can easily start a YouTube channel investing no money and just doing it for fun. Because let's be honest, we're all stuck at home at the moment and looking for ways to fill our time. I know quite a few of my friends from college have already started YouTube channels, so I thought a lot of you guys might be in the same boat of thinking this is the perfect time to start a channel. If you'd like to see my tips, then carry on watching. I would say the first thing you need to decide is what you want your channel to be about. <laughs> Now, this will evolve as you do videos. Now, I didn't start off with the intention of the main focus of my channel to be drama school, auditions, and musical theatre. I was just gonna kind of do a general beauty, fashion, lifestyle, bit of musical theatre, bit of everything kind of channel. However, I think it's really, really good if you have a focus for your channel. Obviously, you can steer off the focus of your channel for some of your videos. I have loads of videos that aren't on drama school or musical theatre, but the majority of my videos focus on that. I feel like if you have a niche for your channel, it'll help to draw in an audience and an audience that have stuff in common with you. However, as I said, this is gonna evolve and change as you grow your channel and as you discover what videos you love making. The next thing you need to do is find something you're gonna film on. Nowadays, iPhones, Samsungs, smartphones in general have amazing cameras. I started filming all my videos on my iPhone. I think at the time I had an iPhone X. This is an iPhone XR. Yes, if you look back at my old videos in comparison to my newer ones, the quality isn't as good. However, it's still really, really good quality. I would say my top tip is make sure to film on the back camera of your phone. Yes, this is gonna be slightly difficult to set up the angle and how you're gonna get yourself in shot, but if you film on the front camera, it's just not Going to be as good quality. If you do want to invest in a camera that is absolutely fine, you guys can go for it. I have a Canon G7X Mark II and that is the kind of basic vlogging camera that most people use and I think the quality is really good. I would like to invest in a DSLR camera but they are very expensive. Personally, I would say don't buy a camera unless you know that you're going to fully commit and you're going to make the most of this and keep it up for a while because a camera is a big investment. When it comes to having a tripod for your camera, this is something you really do not need to invest in. A pile of books and a water bottle to prop up your phone will do absolutely fine. I did that for my first few videos and then I got a little cheap tripod off of Amazon. This one my dad actually got me for doing video auditions but it has a phone attachment. I have the camera one on it now. You can just set it up and it actually has a Bluetooth camera thing that you can attach to your phone and that'll help you record your videos. But honestly as I said a pile of books and a water bottle will do the job absolutely fine. The next thing is lighting. Honestly film in front of your window. Find what time of day your bedroom has the best sunlight and film in front of your window and trust me filming in natural light is actually so much nicer than with a ring light. The only reason I invested in a ring light is because in the UK in winter it gets dark at literally three in the afternoon and I was really struggling to find the time to film when there was good light in my bedroom. I will link down below the ring light that I have. I think it cost about £70 so in the long run it actually wasn't too much money. However I would say again check that you're going to stick it out for a while and then decide that you're going to buy a ring light. And also it's coming into spring and summer so the light is going to be so much better and there's going to be way more daylight to film in. Now you've got your camera, you've set up your lighting, you've decided what you're going to film about, you've filmed your first video, then you need to figure out how you're going to edit it. If you're filming on an iPhone, all iPhones can have iMovie for free and you can edit your videos on there. It does take a little while because it's on a small device, however you can do it and that's what I did with a lot of my videos. You can also edit them over on iMovie on a MacBook or an iMovie on an iPad. I'm aware that there are similar editing softwares for Windows computers, I think it's called Windows Movie Maker. There are so many free editing softwares out there that you guys can get your hands on. Personally, I haven't invested in any editing software because I didn't really feel I need it. I feel iMovie does everything that I need. <laughs> Once you've edited your video, you've then uploaded it and you're ready to post it, I would say try and make a thumbnail. I didn't really know how to make a thumbnail at first, so I can make a whole video on how I do my thumbnails, but basically all you need to do is, while you're recording, pause and kind of pose and then you screenshot the video and that will make the perfect size thumbnail for YouTube. You can then go on softwares like PicMonkey, you could probably even do it on Word, you can get loads of adding text things on your phone, there's loads of different free options out there again, find what works for you and kind of keep up a theme with your thumbnails. 
My final tips would be make an upload schedule. This is just gonna make sure that you're consistent, your viewers know when your videos are coming, you know when your videos are coming, and it just makes life a whole lot easier. If you feel like you're in a period of time where you're gonna have more time, maybe aim to upload two or three videos a week. However, if you're super busy, then just do one a week, that is absolutely fine. When I was super busy with college, I dropped down to one video a week, because I'd rather make one video a week that's really great quality and that I love, rather than two videos a week that are a bit rubbish. <laughs> And my final tip would be plan and commit. Plan the videos you're gonna film, plan when you're gonna film them, plan what you're gonna say, and commit to your channel. So, so many people start a YouTube channel and give up after a couple of months because it is hard work. I think people think you just turn on the camera, film a little video, and you're good to go. But it really does take time, planning, and effort. And if you do get into it, it's honestly so much fun, and you will love every second of it. If you guys have any more questions, or you have any other videos you'd like me to film on starting a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments down below please do not forget to hit subscribe to my channel i would love to have you back please do hit a big thumbs up to let me know if you've enjoyed this video and i will hopefully see you again very very soon thanks for watching bye